I very recently returned from the Congo, uh, there to deal with questions of sexual violence in the East around Bukavu and Goma. And one of the heartbreaking things that I didn't realize in advance was that the women who have been raped and as a result of the rape are HIV positive, both at the Pansy Hospital in Bukavu and the Heal Africa Hospital in Goma, they've run out of drugs. So the women undergo this savage sexual violence and then they find themselves facing HIV and AIDS and we can't provide the treatment. And many of them are young girls. So the possibility of Canada opening the gates here for the rest of the world to understand the importance by passing this legislation has implications everywhere on the African continent and it's terribly important. Uh, to do something that is uh, what we view uh, uh, Canada uh, is behind often, just in our nature, just in our history, just in the way that the world sees Canada. We, we, uh, we, we believe in that. You know, there, there's a reason why when packpackers travel, they put a Canada <laughs> sign on their, on their bags. This is, a, this is the, that in that tradition. It's so urgently needed. The entire world at the moment, the AIDS world, is consumed with what they call the virtual elimination of pediatric AIDS by 2015, when the Millennium Development Goals come to an end. And therefore, to have a country which provides generic manufacture of pediatric drugs right at the moment when the international community is consumed by that objective puts Canada, I think, in a, in a position of some leadership and some exemplary behavior.